Hey what's up everybody welcome back to another video in this video I wanted to tell you guys about my first assignments as a commercial diver since I graduated from commercial diving school so if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments or questions for me down below so a little quick recap uh, in case you guys missed it uh, I moved back to Hawaii after graduating from commercial diving school um, I got hired at a commercial diving company and I now work in a 1099 uh, self-employment, basically a private contractor position. Um, so I basically get called out per job. Um, so I don't work part-time or full-time. Um, it's whenever there's a job available, they call me up and um, I basically go and do that one job. I do work hourly, um, get paid hourly. So I don't get paid per job or anything like that. Um, but anyways um i did two jobs this week uh, my first job was on monday um, second job was on tuesday um, the first job on monday was a prop clean um, and also a hole inspection so it was a massive container ship um, they needed their bottom of their hole inspected they needed photos um, periodically ships need this done to be able to um, know what the condition of the bottom of their ship is right they can't just go down and look at it um, like they can with anything else so they need divers to do that um, so um, basically it was a three dive team three man dive team we had one dive soup uh, in the shot in the van um, basically changing out bottles and everything like that um, and holding down topside and then we had two divers in the water um, for the inspection and photos portion, we did on scuba. And then when we did the prop clean um, with the scrubber, pneumatic scrubber tools um, or brushes, brush wheels, um, I actually got to don a Kirby Morgan um, while the my other dive partner, he uh, still uh, used his scuba uh, system. So, um, so there's two divers in the water. Um, there's various hole openings and markings that you have to take pictures of. Also any fouling. Um, there's probably you know 50 to 100 things to take photos of. Um, we started in the rear, um, taking pictures of the rudder, um, the different uh, linkages and uh, moving parts of the rudder and everything um, that we can take pictures of. Uh, and then the screw, which is also called the propeller um we took pictures of that and then worked our way from the stern of the ship towards the bow um, on the port side um, taking pictures of any sea chests um, stuff like that um, and uh, my dive partner was more experienced right because it was my first uh, diving job so um, he got to operate the camera um, and i assisted in locating any other hole openings because um, it's not just, you know, oh, there's that one, there's that one. Also, there's ICCPs, um, which are um, devices that uh, basically run on DC power, and it basically prevents the ship's hull from uh, corroding or rusting or anything like that. You can also use sacrificial anodes, uh, but this is a much uh, better approach using ICCPs. Um, on boats, so you definitely got to make sure you take pictures of those. Um, those are very important. They're scattered um, throughout the ship's hull, um, and you want to make sure that's in the photos that you take. Uh, but uh, we did one tank um, uh, starting in the stern of the ship and then doing the port side, and then we actually had to get out, um, take a surface interval. Uh, change out tanks to do the bow of the ship and the starboard side. After we finished with that, um, we set up to do the pneumatic scrubbing of the uh, screw, um, which I didn't know. Or I uh, just learned that um, on a screw, there's actually a pressure side and a suction side. And since there is two of us, one guy took the suction side and the other guy took the pressure side of the screw. And uh, I kind of knew this, but I kind of forgot um, that when ships are in port, their screw doesn't stop. I think it's because uh, just due to when they pull back out of port, 
um, they don't want it to restart up the you know screw spinning again and it gets stuck due to the C you know corroding it or whatever so it just is in constant rotation it's not very fast but it it's a slight rotation and you have to clean or we had to clean the prop while the prop is slowly rotating so um, it kind of makes it a little bit more challenging you like at first you're working on the top and then you you'll go down to the bottom and yes I used the Kirby Morgan hat um, but I was also still in fins so I had to um, keep kicking to stay um, up and to go up then down the propeller with this uh, scrubber brush but um, I also kind of learned how to drive the scrubber brush um, because of the um, centrifugal force it sucks to the propeller but also um, you can position it in a certain way like I noticed if I position it like in this position right here I can kind of give it a kind of a lifting force to where it can kind of drive me up so I don't just keep sinking and have to kick you know with my fins the whole time to keep me up because it can get pretty tiring um, so it was a good experience I learned a lot from it uh, but our last thing we needed to do for that day was we needed to take pictures after pictures because the before pictures of the propeller are going to be you know all slimed up um, with seat gunk and everything and then we had to take after pictures of our work that we did on the screw um, so um, we jumped in got those last few pictures and we were basically done for the day we packed everything up and then headed back to the shop rinsed everything off put away all the gear and everything and we were done for monday tuesday um, I was basically by myself and it was another scuba job. So I basically brought all of my scuba gear down to a marina and basically they were trying to rebuild a dock um, that was where, you know, boat parking. So they had a lot of sailboats um, that park at this marina and they need to redo it because it's just too old. It's been there for a while. Um, so what I needed to do was assist in placing underwater markers for where the anchors are going to go for the new dock so the markers are basically pvc pipes and you connect like a string to the end of the pvc pipe um, and then like something that floats like a water bottle empty water bottle um, and so what i did was i every time they pinpointed on the gps where to place a marker um, because they planned it all out in GPS um, uh, system beforehand. It's kind of like construction sites, how you see the guy with the tripod and he's kind of looking through that um, lens and he's got like, you know, a little computer right there. And you're like, what are they doing on the side of the road looking through this tripod thing? It's kind of like that. Um, he had a, one of the guys was a specialist and he uses that GPS for various jobs and everything. They hire him to do that speciality. Um, but anyways, um, he would pinpoint, he would basically hold the GPS in a certain location. It would tell him right there is where they plan to put that marker or that anchor. So I would drive the PVC pipe. It's about a 10 foot pipe, each one down into the mud. They would mark it with a number so they know which one it is and then we would move on to the next one so i basically did that about 10 different times um, and the first part of before we got to the marking we actually had to, i actually had to locate a concrete block for them um, it's kind of complicated but uh, basically the boat could has a winching system and they can lower uh, hooks down into the water and they can hook up to a concrete block and this concrete block is heavy so they can actually lower it through the center of the boat because there's a hole in the center of the boat um, they can lower it down and set it on the bottom so that when they're doing their gps thing they're not you know rocking back and forth and the current is you know pushing them to one side or the other the concrete block can lower and basically anchor them to one position so we can mark that location um, so but the hardest part about that part was I had to find this concrete block they said it's in this general area and so I had to do like a search pattern and I kept looking and looking and it was seemed like it was taking forever I could not find this concrete block 
uh, but thankfully we ended up finding it um, I hooked it up to the boat's winch and then we picked it up and then we started um, doing the markings and everything so um, that has been my jobs uh, this week um, there's those are the only jobs that I've done so far I was actually supposed to do another whole uh, ship inspection today no prop cleaning it was just supposed to be photos of another container ship um, but um, we didn't actually get to do it because it got canceled um, but uh, I'm just so I'm just waiting for the next job after that but I just wanted to tell you guys about this job that I got to, these jobs that I got to do and what were the first jobs I got to do out of commercial diving school um, I also got my dive light came in or my dive torch came in um, it's by Orca Torch. Um, I'm gonna do a review on this light uh, pretty soon. I don't know how soon because I really want to do a good job on it. Um, so I don't want to rush it or anything. I really want to plan it out and make sure it's done right. Um, and then I got get good footage and everything. So I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I did get the light in and everything. Um, so um, definitely look forward to that sometime in the future. But anyways, you guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great one. Peace.